The one they've been telling me about is coming. What? Who's coming? Another doctor is coming. Hi, I'm Dr. Larmer. I'm here to see Matthew. Dr. Peterson couldn't be here. <laughs> Matthew told me that a new doctor was coming. How does he know that stuff? <laughs> Come in. Thank you. He's right over there. Okay, thanks. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Dr. Lerma. I like your Gucci belt. <laughs> you know, you're right. That is a Gucci belt. Let you know. How did you know I was coming? Did your mom tell you no. I was coming? You were the one I was waiting for. You were the one the angels told me was coming. They are telling me what I need to say to you to prove what is going on in the other side. On the other side? Yes. I have many messages for you. What messages, Matthew? We must reconcile the conscious and unconscious minds. They need to be, they need to be wedded. The conscious mind is usually wrong. And how can we reconcile these minds? We all know more than we are aware of. Like what? Like all people are afraid to die. We don't need to fear death. We all die. Everyone needs to know this. We are all interconnected. First, we need to help ourselves, then others. It's just really hard to believe what he's saying to me and to you. Um, you know, I've looked at his charts and I thought I would see somebody a lot more ill. But he's so energetic, so lively. Why don't you tell me a little bit more? I think I'd get a better idea about his disease process. When Matthew was seven, he got cancer in his right eye. So they uh, removed it. And then they removed his uh, left eye shortly after to help prevent the cancer from spreading. So then he became blind and um, it eventually spread. You know, that's gotta be really tough for you. Such a wonderful boy. I'm gonna be here for you. Thank you. I mean, they're handling it. Matthew's handling it so much better than the girls and I. He wanted um, to go into the hospital so we wouldn't have to see him suffer. And Kathy, I've got one question. So does he know, you know? Yeah, he knows. That's just incredible. thinks he's got less than two weeks left. Dr. Lerma, there is no hell. Hell is just an idea. It is wrong that this idea is being taught. I don't understand why you've had such a hard life. I chose this life because I wanted my mother and sisters to know that there is a God. Once that is done, once that is done, I will be taken back no sooner, no sooner or later. Hi, Kathy. I'm here to take care of Matthew. How is he <sighs> yes, doing Susan, today? 
He is talking about God and, and angels. Like, I don't even believe in that stuff. Matthew has had a hard life. You know, his father left us with no money and now the cancer. I mean, how can there be a God? Maybe you should keep an open mind. Yeah, well, if there is a God, then why is this happening? I think it's good that you're asking that question. All right. Well, I'll try to keep an open mind. Thanks for coming. Sure. Is it true you see angels? Yes, there are angels here now. They love us so much. They help us find our passion. They help us know what our career should be. If you want to be an astronaut, be an astronaut. If you want to be a trash collector, be a trash collector. Whatever you want to do, the way will be provided for you to do it. Why do people die? Death is not to be feared. It is to be embraced because we never die. Everyone takes care of us. We need to find our lessons before we move on. It is important for each and every one of us to find our lessons. And when we do, we need to learn everything we can for them. Has Matthew always been this wise? He's never ever spoken about visions or anything like that until um, he became ill. I, I, I don't believe in God, um, but I'm starting to think that someone sent Matthew to my daughters and I to help us. Do you believe in God? It's a good question. You know, with everything I do and everything I've seen, especially here today, I, I can't deny God. And yes, I do believe in Him. And uh, in fact, I do often pray with my, my patients. I have such a, a hard time praying because I, I feel so guilty for not giving Matthew a better life. Could, could you help me? There's one that I know well. It's the Our Father. Our Father, Father. Lord in heaven. Good morning, everybody, and how's Matthew this morning? Great, I'm feeling great. No pain, I slept. Everyone sing! Come on, Matthew. Are there any angels here? Yes, there are so many angels. Lord, I'm ready. Matthew, help me to believe in you. I know you love him. I've, I have been trying to hang on to him. I don't want to see him suffer anymore. Thank you for allowing me to have them as long as you have. I know now that I'm gonna see him again. It is done, Dr. Norma. Come back at four o'clock tomorrow. Are you ready? We are ready to take me home. Dr. Lerma, I'm glad you are here. There are 30 or 40 angels and light beings here. How do they all fit in this room, Matthew? There are no walls, and there are no ceilings. You know, you may be right. I think I hear the dolphins and even smell salt water. <laughs> you think I heard one, Matthew? Probably. I can hear them. That's awesome. I wish I could see them. I'm sorry, Kathy, but he's gone. But I know he's gone to the angels.
with you. I wish I could see you. I don't know if you can hear me. It was such an honor to be your mother. Thank you so much for teaching your sisters and me. I promise you that I will help everyone I can with what I learned from you. My son Matthew was my teacher. He helped me learn that we all have a purpose in this life and that the angels can help us find ours. If we ask for help, we're helped. So always remember to ask. The angels will help us find the ones who love us and they will support us when we lose the ones we love. Even at our worst times, we are never alone. I remember when my husband left me. I was so angry, and I, and I shouldn't have been. But the angels taught me to forgive. And now, I have a peace of mind. When we pass on, our angels, our family, even our little pets will be there to greet us. I know that when I move on in this world, and my little Matthew will be there waiting for me.